Hey, what's up guys? Rideshare guy here. And today I've got a video about how many Uber drivers are there, right? So, um, you know, obviously we, we, you know, for us, it's tough to tell, right? We can really get our best data from Uber and they don't always, they don't keep a running tally where you can go and check. But in early November of uh, 2015, they actually just announced that, hey, Travis Kalanick, their CEO said, we have 400,000 drivers in the US and 1.1 million worldwide, right? Obviously that worldwide number is huge and there's actually some people that aren't are a little bit skeptical of that worldwide number, but I mean for that 400,000 in the US, I think that makes a lot of sense. I think that that's right about in line with what I expected because um, about a year ago in January, um, Uber actually announced that they had 160,000 drivers and I think they said they were signing up at 20,000 a month. Um, so they were really kind of moving forward. But one of the interesting things they said in that study they announced in January was that they were also losing drivers after one year, only 50% of Uber drivers were still on the platform. And so let's do a little quick math. Hopefully I won't screw this up. But, you know, about a year ago, if they're at 160,000 drivers after one year, half of them are going to quit. So that's 80,000 original. And they now say that they're at 400,000 today. So that means that in the past year, they signed up 320,000 drivers, right? So that's about, you know, right in line with what they said, 20 to 30,000 drivers a month. So that kind of shows you the sheer magnitude of how many drivers out there and puts things in perspective for you that they're still signing up 20 to 30,000 drivers a month, according to them. And I think that those numbers are pretty believable. Um, you know, so obviously there are a lot of Uber drivers out there right now and the number is growing. So what that means for drive current existing drivers is that there's going to be more and more drivers on the road. And this kind of goes back to what I've talked about in the past that Uber really wants as many drivers on the road as possible. Uber drivers, on the other hand, want as few drivers on the road as possible because that means that, you know, more surge more frequency of ride requests. So that's just something you guys got to keep in mind that, you know, Uber is do, has all these paid marketing channels. They've created their Uber brand ambassador program, um, which is like their own paid marketing channel, basically. Um, and then they also have things like the driver referral program. So they're really not slowing down in their mission to hire new drivers. What that means for current and existing drivers, you got to keep that in mind, right? The strategies that worked for you in the past might not always work in the future because there's new drivers coming on, right? All the same reasons that you signed up to drive for Uber, those are the same reasons that are attractive to new Uber drivers. So, and they also come on with a fresh perspective. They don't know the drivers were making more a year ago. So it's a lot to kind of consider, but I just want to put things in perspective for drivers out there and really explain and, you know, break down the numbers behind how many Uber drivers there are out there. I'll say the one you know, the one real positive that I would say about more drivers is that I've seen a huge explosion of companies um, over the past year that are coming out starting to support drivers, whether it's companies, you know, that I'm working with like SherpaShare that does income tracking or your mechanic that does uh um, oil changes and, you know, car repair at your house or Stride Health that provides healthcare information um, and helps you pick a plan for health insurance, right? There's companies like that, but there's also a million startups, right? There's big companies that are starting to see, hey, there's this huge market of 400,000 Uber drivers and they all need X, Y, and Z, right? They all need help with income. They all need help with taxes, insurance, right? So all these companies are really starting to recognize that there's this huge market of drivers out there. I mean, 400,000 in the U.S. is a lot. 1.1 million worldwide. So you can kind of imagine that in the future, these numbers are only going to go up. But for me, what's really cool is that, well, to be honest, a lot of these small startups pitch me and they tell me about their product. And a lot of the products are really cool. I mean, it's everything from optimization across, you know, different services, who you should work for to applications, um, you know, one application for multiple services, social networks for um, Uber, you know, on-demand workers and just lots of really cool ideas like that. So, um, you know, I definitely think it's a cool space to uh, be in right now. Um, as for drivers, you know, hopefully this video kind of breaks down the numbers for you and you guys understand a little bit more about how many drivers are out there and uh, kind of use that information going forward. So if you have any questions, definitely feel free to like, comment, subscribe, leave a note below. I'll make sure that I respond when I get a chance. And uh, other than that, look forward to hearing from you soon. All right. Take care, guys.